Rome is a city of passion where football is just as important as the culture, politics and landmarks of the Italian capital, and the supporters of its football team had finally rekindled their love with the game when Jose Mourinho arrived this summer. The decision to appoint the outspoken former Chelsea and Tottenham boss was a big gamble by the Friedkin family. The Americans who own Roma, and at the time the excitement over his hiring was as big as when Fabio Capello and Luciano Spalletti were in charge. But after seven defeats already this season, that enthusiasm is already starting to dwindle. For a club that spent £34 million on a forward in Tammy Abraham, the biggest outlay on a striker in the division, fans expected far better results, after the dismal 3-0 defeat to Inter Milan which saw Roma have just one shot on target, Mourinho now resembles the Roman Emperor Caligula. He doesn't listen to his advices and his choices are confusing, resulting in mixed messages from his coaching team in every match. Mourinho is fantastic when the cameras are on him, when he is giving a gift to one of his players, a new pair of boots to Felix Afena Gian, or when he is seen eating pizza on the back of a train, after the win over Salernitana. But when he has to be a coach, all his problems start to come out on show. Too often, Mourinho is talking about the team's problems in front of the media rather than looking for solutions privately. If the Portuguese coach doesn't change his attitude and sense of vanity soon, his reign in Italy will be short lived. There has been a lot of disappointment over Mourinho's philosophy this season. Roma are lacking an identity that sums up what the club is all about. The problems the club is facing is all down to Mourinho. The Jose Mourinho we once knew appears to have left all his courage in England and is now playing the game of hide and seek that seems to happen with every club, only quicker and quicker as his career drags on, blaming his players and criticizing the team too harshly.